Charlie, when I moved in here, I said that it was vital that we create a wholesome atmosphere for Jake, and you said I understand. Alan, there's something you should know about me. When I say I understand, it doesn't mean I agree. It doesn't mean I understand. It doesn't even mean I'm listening. <laughs> then why do you say it? It seems to make people happy, and that's what I'm all about. <laughs> well, it's very altruistic, but I, I would prefer if you just be straight with me. Fine. All I'm asking is that you keep in mind that we have an impressionable 10-year-old boy living here. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I don't care what you do in your private time, but when my son is here, I expect you to clean up your act. I understand. I don't like coming over here and being the bad guy, but I have to protect my son. I understand. <laughs> it's hard enough going through this transition all by myself. Uh, Alan, at least as you, I have no one, except my parents, and they're completely toxic. I understand. Do you? I think I do. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I mean, I've always been the good daughter or the good wife. And you know what? Outside of those relationships, I don't know who I am. Am I gay? Am I straight? Who the hell knows? I'm scared about this, Charlie, and I'm totally alone. I, well, you know what? I understand. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Hey. I'm so sorry to take up your time with all of this. Hey. I understand. Thank you, Charlie. You're welcome. There's five minutes of my life I'll never get back.